Hey guys, welcome to my Lokito and Melina manifestation guide. This video is going to cover over the small update of another Eden version 2.2.5. Let's get right into it. So here's some information on Lokito's manifest weapon. His weapon is called Stalward Fist, and you can obtain it when you fight his manifestation form. And it'll increase two of his skills, his Groundbreaker, which will increase the power of Lokito by 30% for three turns, up to a maximum of three stacks, which will go up to 60%. And a critical rate for himself will be added by 70% for one move. And he has a Demonic Slash that'll have an increase in the Blunt Resistance by minus 30% for three turns. And all Fist equipped users within your party will gain a increase of damage by 50% for two turns when used. Here's Lokito's Manifest Rotation. Like all Manifest fights, there are no weaknesses, but he is resistant to Water and Fire. Out of the six moves, all of them pretty much consist of whether it's AoE physical or single target or earth attribute attacks and debuffs. So just plan accordingly to his debuff rotation from turns two, three, and he even has a hit resistance debuff on turn five, and he gives himself some physical strength buffs during turns three, four, and six. Now some of the recommended party composition for this fight I would suggest, obviously you have to bring in Lokito for Earth. If you have Nagi in other style, she's great. Her own Valor Chant's good and she deals a ton of damage. Tiramisu is a DPS as well. Primal is a great support with a lot of arsenal in her kit to provide support and DPS output. Serene with her Manifest weapon is also a great option. Myra's another style when she's released in the future will be great, along with Elga another style, which is also another future release soon. Tuva with her manifest weapon is also another wonderful option for a DPS and Tsubami as well. If you decide to run a win team, you can always come prepared with Claude another style or his original, but obviously with another style that'll provide you with a win zone unit that'll make this fight a lot easier. Felmona with her manifest in her original form is going to be a godsend since she pretty much will beat the crap out of Lokito. Her nether style is it's a lot weaker but can be used if you want to use her. Suzette with her manifest weapon is a great choice. Isuka and Kikyu are also fantastic DPS units along with Izami with her manifest station weapon as well. For healers I would recommend Mayunfa if you were able to pull her recently. Dunarth is great for wind teams. Man is also wonderful for the cleanses. Vena Perugino is also good too as a supportive healer while giving your team resistance buffs, but her another style in the future when it gets released is also a very optimal option since it'll be a second wind zone provider along with a massive DPS output unit. And of course, Yuna can also be used as well if you choose to do so. Next up, we have the Melina Manifest information here. She's going to get her weapon Ars Nova. And with that said, she has two skills that will be enhanced. Her Mana Drench, which will have an increase of the physical resistance debuff by 25% for three turns. And she gains a water type magic attack on all enemies for medium damage and with a chance to inflict sleep. And her next ability that gets enhanced is Affluent Surge. And with it, the power and intelligence of all party members will increase by 30% for three turns. Now let's go over the Melina Manifest Rotation. Again, no weaknesses, and she is resistant to fire and wind. And with that said, she has a six turn rotation, mostly consisting of water DPS output, but she just has a couple of AoE damage attacks, a couple of self buffs from turns two and five, and some debuffs that will inflict on your team from turns four and six. So pretty much if you have abilities or a team that can encounter water or is resistance to water, that would be great. Which goes into the next point for the recommended party compositions. If you want to run an earth team, I'd suggest running Nagi in other style again. Her Valor Chance great with her DPS output, Teramisu, Serene with her manifest, Primaya, Myris another style when she's released, Lokito another style, Elga another style when she is released as well, Tuva with her manifest, and Subami. As for water teams, you can run Melina because you need her, Hismina, 
Shani another style, Nike another style, Leclerc with her manifest weapon, Mighty with his manifest weapon or his another style. And to be honest, you could also probably run Shani with her original form with her manifest weapon since she does a ton of damage for water teams as well. So take these recommended lists with, you know, not as the Bible. Just make sure that you have, you know, your water team supported properly or whatever team comp is supported properly. And to be fair, if you have zone units, it makes a lot of these fights a lot more trivial. So for healers, I would suggest, again, if you have my Yunfa, bring her Yuna original or her another style for water team support. Mana for her cleanse abilities and Mario another style or her original form is fine for heals and Myris as well with her manifest weapon. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this update. The Another Eden Global seems to be slowing down on their updates recently, but hopefully that doesn't mean that they're going to make this a permanent thing. I would like to see them push out more updates in the future. Are you guys excited for the next update, which would consist of Elga Another Style? Let me know down in the comments section, guys. All right, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.